Hi guys! Today I show you the process of my latest watercolor painting titled Die Froschkönigin, which means basically the Brother Grimm's fairy tale The Frog Prince, but in the female form, because in German the fairy tale is called The Frog King. And I just switched the gender and so I called my painting The Frog Queen in German, so Die Froschkönigin. And before we start I have to apologize my voice today is a little bit weird because I caught a cold super annoying um, yeah but I hope I hope you bear with me and um, watch the video nevertheless real quick before we start for in-depth painting tutorials head over to my patreon page and select the five dollars reward tier you get instant access to over 30 painting tutorials which you can download insights into my working progress helpful art material posts and I answer all of your questions for ten dollars a month you get exclusive access to my live stream and real-time painting videos. For $15 and more you get beautiful art surprises, fine art prints, original watercolor illustrations and much more. A limited edition of 20 fine art prints of the Froschkönigin is available at my online store both in the basic and the embellished version. This painting is for a show at the online art blog Wow X Wow um, and they have a wonderful art blog where they interview a a lot of contemporary surreal painters and I've been following them I think since the last two years and I always love reading what other artists have to say and they invited me for their show which is now online and which you can see I have a link down in the description and the founder of the blog also invited me for a wonderful interview so if you're interested what I have to say beside of that what I say in my videos um, it's just more eloquently put and not as confusing because I could just write and just um, think more about what I wanted to say. Um, yeah, I have a link in the description too for you so you can check that out if you want to. And I wanted to paint something very fairy tale like because the show had an open theme. The only restriction was that it had to be square and yeah, I could paint whatever I wanted. And what I really really love so much is just the atmosphere of fairy tales and fairy tale movies for example like the labyrinth the dark crystal or just old old movies in general which have a fairy tale science fiction or fantasy atmosphere so i decided to do something fairy tale like and um i don't know what was first if i wanted to do like the frog king fairy tale or if i found the image first i can't remember now <laughs> when i think back to it but um i used a picture Picture, a re reference picture from Dolce and Gabbana and oh my god <laughs> first I just um, looked through my reference pictures and I wanted to have a girl with a crown like a princess and then I just searched for this term on Google and after I saw this picture from Dolce and Gabbana I was like oh my god what is this <laughs> oh my god I need to paint this this is incredible I was like blown away by the beauty of this picture and by the beauty of the model's face and of the crown and oh my god it's so beautiful and I thought well yeah I this is this I will paint this like a hundred percent I need to paint that and yeah so I just played around in Photoshop and I used a picture of poppies which I took by myself like most of the flower pictures I use I took myself because um, I just happened to paint flowers from the side on and from weird angles in general so I have to take them myself which is just no problem there's not really they you don't have to ask them you can just you can just take pictures of them and then I had this beautiful like girl and I thought okay and now I need to put a frog there so because I don't know princess always go together with frogs because of the fairy tale so yeah I put that frog there and I was really really happy with my reference picture and I think the whole painting would have even turned out better if I would have painted it in um, oils except for the jewelry. Sometimes I think to make the best pictures I would have to paint for example the very high detailed areas with watercolors and color pencils and then other parts of the painting where I require depth 
add more like very popping colors um, in oil paint with oil paints so um, I don't know <laughs> how to achieve this maybe in future I will try to use oil on paper or something like that I'm not sure but um, the jewelry that you can see in the picture I painted only with watercolors and gouache and this was perfect this was the perfect media for the purpose because it is so detailed and every detail counts so sometimes when you paint a specific subject with a lot of details it doesn't really matter if you paint them but with these jewelries this was so important and with small brushes and with watercolor I could layer and layer and layer and it was really easy um, for, to paint it with watercolors compared with another medium so even if I would have painted it with color pencils or drew it with color pencils it would have been more difficult so sometimes you have things that are destined for a specific medium speaking of medium the poppies in the background I painted with red acrylic inks and I know I have a weird choice of medium it's a bit complicated because I have acrylic inks I have my all my color pencils I have like a ton of watercolors and it's really weird but there wouldn't be another choice for me to get the red as red as with acrylic inks or with other inks um I use acrylic inks from Schminke Aero colors but you can also use just acrylics um, because the watercolor is very bright the moment you put it on the paper and it's still wet but once it's dried it loses I don't know 50% of its brightness um, I have heard that there are very bright colors out there um, but I already used a pretty like expensive brand so I'm using Holbein from Schminke and a little half pad costs me around six to eight euros so this is actually a good brand maybe there are other brands that are brighter I don't know maybe it's like that but I don't know if you could get a brighter red than with inks so yeah I only use the red with uh, poppies these are little tricks that I found or discovered along my route with mixed media and I don't know after the fourth painting when I wanted to have red and my wet didn't turn out as I expected I just thought okay I would just replace the red with acrylics and these are just things that you can plan so before you do a watercolor or a mixed media painting just plan ahead and sometimes when you are in the middle of the painting you realize oh well if I would have done this um, it would have looked better and sometimes it's good to just start the painting over like with one of my latest paintings the Thai ghost may neck I also started the painting over so it's really worth it um, with this one I didn't need to do it because I thought ahead and I used the red acrylics yeah and what was also very helpful in many of my watercolor paintings is the white gouache color which is um, I use designer's gouache which can be reactivated when you touch it with water again which has its up and its downsides um, the good side is that you can easily correct an area you just wet the area and then the white goes away and it can mix very easily with watercolors I tried to mix my acrylic inks with watercolors um, when they dry however on the surface of the paper they are very smooth and they don't really connect and blend into the other color and it looks weird so gouache is great you can just use any gouache color and mix it with your watercolors you can definitely use the designer's gouache color there's another brand of gouache colors I think they are called acrylic gouache colors and they can't be reactivated with water again so make sure you'll get the right one and yeah mixed media is always experimenting so the things <laughs> all the little technique tips and advices and tricks um, they might not be useful for you but maybe they open your eyes and what you can do and what things you can just invent and cheat <laughs> so I hope this is helpful for you and another thing one of you uh, commented on my last video that my paintings might not be archival because I use gouache and then I paint over them with color pencils so um, thank you so much for all your inputs this is always so helpful um, fortunately I fixate or varnish all my watercolor paintings with I think at least four or five layers of of watercolor fixative or sometimes pastel fixative which make them water resistant so you can just splash
that water on them and nothing happened. I need to do that because before I apply my glitter glue, which is from Stickles, for every one of you who wonder, Stickles reactivates gouache again and so I have to fix all my, my complete painting before I use the glitter glue. And like I get this question so often, I don't even reply <laughs> to it anymore. Um, so many people ask me how the glitter sticks to the painting and won't it fall off and no of course not <laughs> if it would fall off I wouldn't use it obviously because this this wouldn't make any sense so um, I'm using glitter from stickles and they're coming in little plastic bottles like gum bottles which are filled with a colorful medium and then you have the glitter particles in them and I love them so much because the medium is also colored in the color of the glitter particle so for example when I have green glitter the medium in which the glitter swims is also toned in green and also they have different sizes and types of particles so I have like four or six different glitter colors and all of them are um, different when I layer them over top of each other they are very beautiful so yeah this is what I use so please don't ask me this question again <laughs> and if you do um, yeah some of you who already know the answer then can comment on this question again I think mostly I get the question on Instagram though so yeah <laughs> um, yeah I hope this video was interesting for you and maybe it could reveal some tips to you for your own mixed media techniques and for those of you who are waiting for my Inktober videos I might do another Inktober video maybe two but I think I've recorded one because I wasn't super happy with like the process it wasn't very interesting I might do another Inktober video for you <laughs> and the, the other Inktober drawings I have on my Instagram account and Facebook account so you can find them there yeah I hope you like this video if you do so please give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope i see you in the next one bye bye